Welcome to Dragon Works 2000 Honda CR250R. And uh, basically came in not starting. The bike sat for a little bit. I think when my customer first bought it, he just got off of 125 and jumped on this thing and went for a ride. And I believe it's had a little bit of work done on it. Uh, she's a little bit nasty when she's running 100%. And uh, I think after that, he he had trouble getting it started or something. So it sat for a little while. And he brought it to me to get it going. But there's some other things. Uh, the clutch handle was broke. Uh, so got to do that and then uh, the chain is kind of crappy So gonna have to replace that and then I, I got to check it out and find out what else it may need But anyway, I was able to get it started uh, First of all, I pulled the plug out and the gap was like uh, 35 hundredths and it should have been or 35 thousandths and should have been um, Like 20 to 24 I think they recommend and of course the plug was all fouled out and wet um, and then I guess somebody went somewhere along the line and tried to start it a bunch. So um, the engine was just full of old, nasty gas. The pipe was all full of it. When I got this thing cranked up, it blew smoke like you wouldn't believe. I've already wiped this down once, but it blew oil all over my shop, all over everything uh, out of the pipe here where it was uh, leaking out of the joint back here. You can't really see it in the lighting. Um, but it's clearing up. I took it up and blew the cobwebs out of it. A couple times and I haven't done anything to the carb at all yet and it seems to be running okay uh, it's not getting up on the pipe like I'd want so we're gonna keep running a little bit and see if we can burn that out I might have to pull the pipe off and clean it out um, I don't know maybe the uh, maybe the muffler spark arrestor is clogged up too uh, we're still in the diagnostic stage it just showed up a little while ago and I wanted to find out what all we need so I can get the parts ordered and in the process of finding out, I got it to run. So now we're seeing if we, uh, if we need to do any additional carb work to it or not. So it might be also the old gas. I think this is probably the same gas. I'm not sure. Have to get with a customer. But it may be the same gas that was in it when he got it like over a year ago. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of ifs. And that's what we're trying to find out. So anyway, we're going to crank it up. I'm going to see if I can just kick this thing over again one more time. And she cranks right up for us. You can hear it. And then we'll see. Uh, I'll continue to diagnose it and see what else it needs. And then we'll do a follow-up video. All right, stand by. Let me pause it and get the camera set up. And, of course, the wind started kicking up. Uh, don't mind my summer attire. It's hot as hell. <laughs> and I am sweating my butt off. <laughs> Fuel back on. Let's try See if she'll go one kick, hey? Come on, baby. And I just got it to idle. It wasn't idle earlier. She's either a smoker or that pipe is just all oiled up. guys so like i say we're checking it out he's not sure if he's uh even going to keep the bike because like i say he's not used to running these 252 strokes and uh he's going to decide when i get it back and it's running right um because i think what had happened the same thing happened to me i think the bike was sitting for a while when he got it 
and he started up, started riding it, and you know how they bog down till they're warm? <laughs> he was probably giving it some gas, and then the thing kind of warmed up and stood straight up in the air and took him for a ride. And I think it might have spooked him a little bit. So we got to get it running really good so he feels comfortable, you know, with it and it's running properly so he doesn't get himself hurt. And then I think he's going to decide to keep it or not. But all right, guys, I got to get to work. I got to go over it some more. I've taken it for a couple little spins. And uh, sometimes it seems like it's on the pipe running great. And sometimes it doesn't. So I may, I'm going to flush the gas out and put some fresh gas in here and uh, see how she goes there. And if it starts acting better, good. If not, then I'm taking that carb off and getting in there. We'll see what happens. All right, guys. Thanks for listening to me ramble. Peace out.